Hello everyone, I'm going to present solution to problem 10. Here we go. The 600 mm diameter pipe conducts water from reservoir A at elevation 61 meters to a pressure turbine at elevation 4.6 meters, which discharges through another 600 mm diameter pipe into tail race B, which is at elevation 0. The loss of head from A to the entrance of the turbine, which is marked point 0.1, is 5 times the velocity head in the pipe, and the loss of head from the exit of the turbine, which is marked point 0.2, is point 0.2 times the velocity head in the pipe. If the discharge is 708 liters per second, determine the following. The horsepower being given up by the water to the turbine. This is the head extracted by the turbine. Then the pressure head at point 0.1, the pressure head at point 0.2 of the turbine. Then the efficiency of the turbine if the output power is 480 horsepower. So this is the given figure. So we first write write energy equation, set up energy equation between point A and point B on the water surfaces on the reservoir and the tail race. So we have datum through elevation zero. So velocity head at A, pressure head at A, elevation head at A equals velocity head at B, pressure head at B, elevation head at B plus head extracted by the turbine because this turbine here plus head loss between A and B. So velocity head at A is negligible or zero, pressure head exposed to atmosphere zero, elevation head 61, velocity head at B zero, pressure head at B zero, elevation head at B zero, head extracted then head loss 5 times velocity head in the pipe plus 0.2 times velocity velocity head in the pipe. So the velocity head is the same because the pipe diameter is constant. So therefore, therefore, head extracted is 61 minus 5.2 times the velocity head. Then since we can compute the velocity for Q over pi diameter square, 4 times 0 0.708 over pi times 0 0.6 square. So velocity is 2.504 meters per second. Square it divided by 19.62. That's the velocity head. It is 0 0.3196 meters. So substitute here. Head extracted by the turbine is 61 minus 5.2 times 0 0.3196. So head extracted is 59.34. So the horsepower being given up by that water turbine, water to the turbine, is power in horsepower input which is q gamma of water or weight flow rate times head extracted divided by 0.746 this time we divide 0.746 we express gamma of water 9.81 so head horsepower input or giving given given up by the water to the turbine is 552.5 horsepower then the pressure head at 1, we write energy equation between point A and 1. You can also have 1 to 2, 1 to B if you want, but this is the simpler. So, datum at elevation 0. So we have velocity head at A0, pressure head 0, elevation head 61 equals velocity head at 1.3196, pressure head at 1 unknown, Elevation head at 1, 4.6, then head lost from A to 1 is 5 times the velocity head, which is this. So pressure head at 1 is equal to 54.48 meters. For pressure head at B, we write energy equation between 2 and B. You can have 1 and 2 or A to 2 if you want. So we have datum at elevation 0, still at elevation 0. So velocity head at B, 0 0.3196. Pressure head unknown. Elevation head 4.6. Then equals 
velocity head at B0, pressure head 0, elevation head 0, then head loss between 2 and B is 0.2 times this 0.2 times velocity head. So pressure head at 2 is equal to negative 4.856 meters. Finally, for the efficiency of the turbine, it is equal to 100% times power output over horsepower output over power input. The horsepower output is even 480. So 100% of 480 over 552.5. So efficiency is equal to 86.88%. So that's it uh, for this problem here on turbines.